Hi Keith, it's Colin. Just to follow up here now, thanks for the password at work, they got the FTP. And what I wanted to do with the FTP information is this. Your site, the way the information is laid out with your content boxes here and your the things we did over here on the side to get all the bits and pieces uh, to show up. On a mobile, what basically happens, we use something called a responsive design. Uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't re not every site is required to have a responsive design, but what it simply means is when in a mobile view, everything is stacked on top of each other, and it sometimes it works, it looks good, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I was going to update it. The the menu here is uh, is disappearing, so that just needs an update to the script. But what I was really thinking about is for the tablet and stuff, everything's kind of squished. So what we can do is, I'm going to suggest, and what I'm going to do, and you can you can ask for it back later if you want to, is um, I'm going to remove the responsive design. So basically what you'll get is your full website on your phone and your tablet, just the way it is on a desktop. It's not going to squish all down. Because I don't think for mobile it's, it's really uh, a good thing. And if anybody wants to, you know, you can pinch and zoom and that sort of a thing. Um, you know, to if you if they can't read the text, but they definitely on a tablet won't have a problem. But the thing I wanted to mention about the menus is the menu up here. See how it's linked? Look down here in the lower corner. If I hover over tutorials, it links to the tutorials page. So if I click here, now on a mobile or a tablet, um, what happens is you you don't want to have this button actually linked to a page. If you need a tutorials link, put it down here. Call it something tutorials, whatever you want to call it. But the button up here, it's gonna, we're going to create a faux link, a, a fake link, okay? Um, and then you can add another sub page down below if you, uh, if you needed to do that, or add the tutorials page down below. But let's take a look at how to do that. I'm not going to do it for you because I don't know exactly how you want your menu set up, but I'll show you how to do it so that you can you know, make those changes. So if we go to menus, <coughs> and we'll take a look at the home, this drop-down menu right here. See how we have, let's take a look, news links to the News 2 page. So if we open this up here, it links to, um, oh, we need to make a couple of adjustments here. I need to uh, change the screen options. Link target, right there. Um, I'm just going to turn them all on for now. And save and close this up. Okay, so, refresh the page. If I open up news now, here we have the news button right there, the, the label for the news button right now. But what we need to do is we need to create uh, a, a new news button. And we're going to put news and all the other bits and pieces. We're going to slide that underneath our new button. So the type of button you need to create for if you're concerned about mobile and tablet and things like that is you go to your, your links, um, the URL, you just put in a pound sign. You call it uh, News, and you click Add to Menu. Okay, and down at the bottom here, News would be added. So let me just scrunch these all up here. Oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to grab News. I'm going to go up here. Okay, keep going up here. And it's just a little bit of work. It'll take you about 10, 15 minutes to set this up properly, but it'll really help. So we're going to put news right under the home page. Okay. Now what we're going to do is add, just slide this over. So now this news page becomes a sub item and then you just slide everything. I'm just going to do this for you. Right. And as you can sort of see, I'm just moving everything up and over the, the news button itself. We can always reposition that news button at the end here. Sometimes this window gets a little tricky. We're looking at, as you see when I'm moving, there's dotted lines behind. And we want the dotted lines to be lined up with that news. We're going to keep that as our sort of target there. All right, there we go. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go. Now we move news up here, right there. And we can then we can expand it and you can change the word news to something else at this point in time. Right, but because news links to a page, we're going to hit save new um, and just have a little look here. Okay, so now when I hover over news, take a look at the lower screen here if you can see it. And now it just goes to the pound sign. So if somebody actually clicks it, it doesn't go anywhere. But if we click on news, it takes us to our news page right here. Now, the important part to remember here is on a mobile device or a tablet, you can only 
touch. So when you touch the screen, something happens. But on a desktop, I can hover over. And you see when I hover over, it opens up the, the submenu. What's going to happen on the on the on the mobile device is when you touch the word or the button for news, then the sub menu will open after that. Okay? But you won't link to the news page because if this this button was actually linked to your news page like it originally was, it's going to take you right to the news page. So we want to have a button that is linked to nothing and all it does is trigger the sub menu. So you can go down and then press on the link that you want to uh, go to after that. So you just need to do your articles, your tutorials and your cameras just same way as I showed you with the uh, uh, with the um, with the news button and uh, I'm just going to do a tweak so that your site is uh, a regular site on mobile devices so it looks or presents a little bit better than having it sort of squished together in one column.